Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for being here. Um, my name is Azul Garza. I'm CTO and co-founder of, of NixLab. And I will be presenting TimeGPT, uh, the first foundational models for time series forecasting. Uh, at NixLab, we are building a future for everybody. Uh, we are a startup focused on time series research and deployment. And basically, we are doing exactly the same thing that OpenAI did for language, text and speech, and Stability AI did for images and video, but for time, and in particular for temporal data. And this is really important because at the end of the day, businesses don't speak in images or languages. They speak in time series. You can think, for example, in sales, IoT data, uh, electricity demand, finance, among other use cases. And to solve the time series analysis problem, we are building foundational artificial intelligence to understand, uh, classify, and predict time series. And we do that using time series research, which is the systematic approach to unveil the, the future. And time series research enables anticipating, for example, ocean tides or predicting closing values of the Dow Jones. And time series are the DNA of finance, commerce, energy, and, and technology. And at Nixle, we, we begin creating the most comprehensive open source time series ecosystem in the world. If you go to our GitHub repo, you can see that we have different open source libraries specialized in particular ways to model time series. For example, we have statistical classical models, uh, AutoArima, AutoETS, the Tita model, but also we have open source libraries specialized in machine learning models, for example, LightGBM, XGBoost, and of course, we have our neural forecast library specialized in uh, deep learning models for time series forecasting. And a lot of companies around the world uses our open source solution uh, to produce accurate uh, forecast for their use cases. For example, Mozilla, Microsoft, uh, Wayfair, Databricks, Lyft, Ford, all of them uses uh, the open source Nixla software uh, in, in production. And uh, we learned a lot uh, in the open source space, in the forecasting, in the forecasting field. Uh, but one particular insight stood out. And it's that forecasting, in some cases, in a lot of cases, can be extremely hard, confusing, and expensive. And this is due because uh, if you want to deploy a forecasting model into production, you need to collect the data, you need to clean the data, you need to perform hyperparameter optimization to select the right model for the right time series, and of course, you need to uh, deploy that model into production, and then you need to analyze the, the results of the, of, the forecasting, of the forecasting solution. So it's extremely hard to put uh, forecasting pipelines into production. But at Nixla, we like, we really like big problems. And also, we love big solutions. That's why we are introducing TimeGPT-1, which is the first foundational models for a time series, time series data. We built TimeGPT-1 collecting uh, the biggest amount of time series data in the world from a lot of different sources. For example, finance, electricity, web traffic, retail, tourism, IoT, healthcare, transport, economics, among other sources. And then we trained a transformer-based architecture with that data to produce TimeGPT. And TimeGPT works exactly the same as ChatGPT. But this is really important. We don't use a, a pre-trained large language model. We are building a specific large 
temporal model for time series data. And it works exactly the same uh, in the sense that you just need to upload your data. You don't have to train uh, the model on your own data. And immediately, with a really low latency, you will have an extremely accurate forecast. In TimeGPT, uh, it's more accurate and also is a lot faster, orders of magnitude faster. And of course, as ChatGPT and other large language models, you can fine tune our large temporal model, TimeGPT, on your own enterprise data. And of course, with TimeGPT1, you don't need machine learning expertise. TimeGPT1 is simple. We exposed TimeGPT as an API. So basically, you can get your forecast just using a API calls. But also, we released a Python SDK. You can access TimeGPT using Python. It's just as simple as just import the main class, TimeGPT, set up your token, and then just call the forecast method with your own data, and you will have forecast provided by, by, by TimeGPT. And we are really excited about TimeGPT because with this solution, we think that the future is really for, for everybody. We launched the beta eight weeks ago, and the results are being really, really amazing. More than 5,000 companies signed up and uh, from a diverse set of sectors, for example, tech, consultancies, retail, manufacturing, finance, energy, healthcare. Here are some logos of the, of the companies that want to try uh, and have tried uh, TimeGPT, Google, Ford, Two Sigma, American Express, Nike, Coca-Cola, Nestle. And which is really interesting about TimeGPT and um, the people that want to use to use it is that the use cases are really broad. For example, people wants to people want to use TimeGPT to demand forecast, uh, to inventory management, waste reduction, anomaly detection, healthcare, IoT, predictive maintenance, finance. But also, we got some unexpected things too. For example, if people um, want to predict circadian rhythms or, for example, wrestling, wrestling audience. We released a paper and we compared TimeGPT against a lot of other, other solutions. Uh, statistical models, machine learning models, deep learning models, but also we compared TimeGPT against the solutions of the big tech companies. In this case, we compared TimeGPT1 against the solutions provided by Google, in particular, Vertex AI and BigQuery. And we did an experiment um, comparing TimeGPT against Vertex AI and BigQuery using New York City bike trips, uh, more than uh, 300 time series. And these are the results. TimeGPT is in the first, in the first row. Uh, the next one is Vertex AI, the deep learning model. Vertex AI behind the scenes uses a, a, a transformer model. The difference with, uh, with Vertex AI is that you need to train uh, that model. It is not a pre-trained model. And also we compared against BigQuery, which is the statistical model. And as you can see, uh, in terms of MSE and May, which are uh, the two metrics, uh, the, the two metrics most used in, in, in the field, uh, TimeGPT uh, beats uh, Vertex AI and, and BigQuery. The conclusions of this experiment is that TimeGPT is 5% more accurate than, deep, that, than Vertex AI, 20% more accurate than uh, BigQuery. Uh, TimeGPT only took two minutes to to forecast the 300 time series against four hours of, of Vertex AI. And this is really important because those four hours are being used only uh, to train the model, to train the model behind Vertex AI. And the deployment, the, the most exciting part about TimeGPT took less than, hour, the, than one hour against eight hours of, 
of Vertex AI. And finally, TimeGPT only takes two lines of code uh, to be deployed in, into production. Um, that's why we are really, really excited about TimeGPT. And if you want to try TimeGPT on your own data, just go to, to that web page and submit your interest. Um, thank you very much.